Happy July 8th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy and party explored Saberhold. We picked up a cleansing crystal, Ray, that will help us if the Tree of Seasons curses us again, which I think we are due for. What else? Ivy uh, won a street fight against a guard who was challenging everyone, I guess. <laughs> Um, there was an event involving runaway spiders that I think it's best just to not talk about. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You walk down a narrow street dedicated to Saberhold's artisans. You can find smiths, woodcarvers, jewelers, and brewers showcasing their crafts here. Amidst a stir of activity, a blacksmith is being forcibly removed from his workshop and taken into custody. The guard approaches you, sternly instructing you to step aside. Oh, yeah, we've got some lizard folk here. This doesn't look... I'm looking for hidden icons. I don't see any, so let's see what we've got. The guard divulges more before leaving. As a newcomer here, let me offer you some advice. If you are in Saberhold, you follow the laws of Saberhold, or you will end up in jail too. One must be a recognized guild member to create and sell wares within our walls. The blacksmith you witnessed was operating illicitly using a forged guild crest. Unfortunately, several such incidents have occurred since the insect attack on Crown Spire was reported. Uncovering the source of these fake crests could prove valuable if you are inclined to assist. Hark, Hornclaw, Lord of Saberhold, has promised a handsome reward for anyone who can put an end to this. Okay, we're going to investigate the crime. Roll d20 plus charisma. 11. Our charisma is 2. That's 13. Um, reminder, investigator. I don't think we've got an investigator. If your virtue is more than 3, gain plus 2. That's us. So that's 15. Uh, oh, well, we've got our boon die. Um, we need one more point to get the best results. So um, let's go ahead and use our boon die. Uh, don't even really need to roll that because we only need one point. So, um, with an incentive to uncover the source of these counterfeit guild crests and secure the generous reward offered by Hark Hornclaw, you embark on an investigative journey in Saberhold. The accused blacksmith was carried away before you could speak with him, but you can question the local shopkeepers and passers-by for clues, hints, or anything out of the ordinary. Try to find a good lead. And we've got the best result here. So, the customers remain oblivious to the counterfeiting issue that stirred the community. One of the vendors shares some info with you. I'm a seller here on behalf of the artisans. I've heard about the problem, but haven't noticed any decline in the quality of craftsmanship among the goods. To me, it seems like a tax-related matter. Maybe someone trying to squeeze more amber from the artisans. Customers, though... They're buying as usual. As for the blacksmith who got taken, that was a blow for us. Weapons have been scarce lately, but I heard a new blacksmith moved in. A young bear with talent. She must have recently acquired a guild crest. She'd be a good lead to follow. Gain a plus two bonus on all rolls on the next page. So we will make a note of that. Plus two all rolls. July 9. Okay. Well, that, my friends, is July 8th, so we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on uh, tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.